Hey y'all, I'm Rick Sky here, and uh, you know I'm always I like to connect the dots, and something really exciting has occurred throughout the past few weeks. And if you look back to last year, 2017, drones were kind of quiet. There wasn't a lot brewing, but now there is a lot brewing. So let me explain all of this and, and tell me what you think. So you know we we got the Mavic Air. Uh, somewhat affordably priced. I mean, obviously, drones are an expensive hobby. Uh, it's it's definitely expensive to to have fun with drones. But uh, you know, Mavic Air was not astronomically priced. And you can check the link within this video's description to find Mavic Air and other drones too. But Mavic Air has kind of filled a uh, filled a happy spot in everyone's pockets. And by saying that, I mean it's it's ultra lightweight. It's ultra portable. And it's got a 4K camera, it's a stellar performer, very well made. Check out my hundreds of Mavic Air videos on my channel. It's my favorite drone on the market today. And that's not just because it's, it's my newest drone. That's because I've flown it tons of times. I've filmed tons of videos with it. And it's been a really reliable and uh, entertaining and rewarding experience. But with that said, that step, that leads into the, uh, to the reason for this video being drone price wars. So you see a drone that's more portable, you know, small, it's lightweight, it's capable, it's got a 4K camera. And it's it's pretty much well perceived by most everyone. I don't want to overgeneralize because there's going to be people out there that that hate DJI. And that's understandable. I mean, some people do. You know, it's a it, it's a world where we're able to have our own opinions. But the thing is, <clears throat> the majority of the people likely love the Mavic Air. But what it's done is bred the demand for competition. So you're looking at Parrot, and, the, and this Parrot Anafi, and I, and I can't wait till mine arrives. Uh, stay tuned here for the unboxing and the field test videos. But the Parrot Anafi on paper has really captivated me because number one, it's coming from a company that they were innovators, but they didn't really, they didn't innovate well. You know, they, they were more of a toy company, and, and they couldn't seem to figure it out. You know, they, they released the, uh, the Parrot Bebop software stabilized video. If you got that for video purposes, it was, it was kind of clunky. Then they released this huge controller called the Sky Controller that completely neg negated the uh, small and portable attributes of the drone. Well, and see, that's what DJI did right with the Mavic Air. Small controller, small drone, ultra capable, gimbal stabilized video, just an awesome experience. Pretty much as good, if not better, than a Phantom experience, except it's a lot smaller and a lot easier to travel with. But Parrot learned, and I don't know if it was forced learning by saying, hey, <laughs> you know, we're kind of, we're not even up there on the, on the top of the uh, list for people looking for drones to... You know, maybe they, maybe they saw that and they said, you know, we've got to innovate. We've got engineers. We've been making drones for several years, but why don't we make something great? And I think that's where the, uh, where the Anafi idea, Sean Coonery's down here. He's listening in. Check him out. He said, I'll fly a parrot. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, so, so the parrot Anafi could really shake things up. And I, I'm super excited about it. And I mean, drones are expensive. Again, it's an expensive hobby. Check the link within this video's description. You can find the Parrot and Afi there. But it's, uh, in comparison to the other drones, it's not as bad. And, and I think that may, that may shake some things up if it's a quality product and it's well-received. Well-perceived, rather. So, you know, time will tell. You know, that's, that's not something at this point in the game, at the time of posting this video, that anyone can state with certainty. You know, is it, is, it, is it a quality product? Do I like it? Do a lot of other people like it? There's no way to tell that at this point in time. But then you've got the other side of the spectrum. You've got a drone that does 4K60 that's made by another company called Alltel, the Alltel Evo. But this is a company, even though they've, they've had some drones in the past, I think they're called X-Stars. They kind of looked like a look like a phantom in an orange color, and I think they have some other colors too, but they, uh, they never, it was one of those companies that, that you heard about, but it, 
it's it's like it never really popped really hard. But now they've announced, and supposedly it's going to be released pretty soon. I think it's probably going to be around a thousand dollars U.S. A drone called the Altel Evo. So now that could shake things up. So here here's kind of where I'm going with this. So you've got a parrot, a Nafi, that's somewhat reasonably priced for an expensive hobby. Then you've got the Altel Evo that's a somewhat expensive price, more expensive price. But now you've got you've got to look at DJI. You know, DJI without a doubt, in my opinion they are and a lot of other people may feel the same way. Uh, DJI is arguably the best drone manufacturer on the market today. And with that being said, I'm hoping that Peridonafi and or Altel Evo start to shake things up. Because potentially what could happen here, you know, let's say Peridonafi does really well. Well, DJI is probably going to say, you know what, our, our Mavic Air is too expensive and it doesn't do enough. Maybe that will force DJI to innovate more rapidly and also reduce their price. Can you imagine a more capable Mavic Air with, say, a 4K60 camera, maybe even a spherical VR camera that potentially comes in at a lesser price point than the Peridonafi? That's the kind of stuff that can happen with competition. And then also, look at Altel Evo. Let's say Altel Evo is successful. Well, that may, that may prompt DJI to say, hey, man, we gotta expedite, we've got to expedite production of Mavic Pro 2. You know, you know get off your tail and, and put, your, uh, put your food down. You know, we've got to get Mavic Pro 2 out on the street. But not only do they have to get it out on the street, they've got to get it on the street at a lesser price. So Altel Evo could potentially expedite the release of a DJI Mavic Pro 2 that's likely going to be a lot more capable and a lot more refined than the Altel Evo. And again, it potentially at a lower price point. So that's why all of this is great. And I'm not wishing Parrot, I'm not wishing Altel bad luck, but I'm just looking at this purely from a drone space perspective. You know, the, the drone space, a huge space that I'm, I still don't understand why we haven't seen companies like Apple, Google, Microsoft, you know, the big names. Why does there seem to be no perceived interest in drones? Are those companies just quietly waiting from the sidelines? And are they potentially going to acquire whatever company they feel is best? You know, the company becomes a buyout candidate for an Apple or a Google or a, or a Microsoft. I mean, that's, that's a possibility. It's just weird that they haven't exhibited any perceived interest in entering the drone space. So maybe that's their stance. They're just watching from the sidelines. But I mean, now we potentially have three big drone companies. DJI, that's already number one by a long shot. Everybody has a ton of catching up to do. Then you've got Parrot. They've been around for a long time. They developed some of the first drones. But their reputation suggests that they're more of a toy drone versus a tool drone. And I'm not talking about commercial use. I'm just talking about tool as being something that someone can fly and capture a really cool 4K video from a drone with minimal or no shake or you know, something that's smooth, you know, like a, watch my Mavic Air videos or my, or my Phantom videos, you know, how they're smooth, they're gimbal assisted. You know, something with good quality video, good stability, and just a reliable experience. And I think, I think that's, uh, um, what was I going to say? I got the hiccups. I think that's where Parrot is is potentially going to rise out of the ashes. You know, they're you know, this this may be their Hail Mary. You know, they're uh they may be serious now and they may say, "Well, you know what? We're going to go all in. We're going to do something right." Now, things they didn't do right. There's not obstacle avoidance on the on the Anafi. Not that I need it. I fly line of sight to be safe and responsible, and I'm an experienced pilot. I've been flying drones since Phantom 1. You know, check out my thousands of videos here on Iron Skies Adventure Channel. But uh, yeah, that that could that could become a perception issue. I've already seen a lot of chatter online about, 
man, an offie looks cool, but dude, it doesn't have obstacle avoidance. So, you know, we'll see how it pans out. And on the other side of the fence, you got Evo. There's a lot of chatter about it. Man, so it just kind of looks like a reverse engineered Mavic Pro or something. And I, I will give Parrot credit with the Anafi, the design of it, the long and slender design. It's kind of different. You know, you got a you got a Mavic Air. It's kind of short and stocky when it folds up, but the Parrot Anafi, it's it's thinner and longer. It looks different. It doesn't look when I look at the Parrot Anafi, I don't say, oh man, they were reverse engineering whatever, and that's cool. And you can actually look back at the older Parrot models, the Parrot Bebop. You can look at the, uh, what was the original? Was it, a, was it AR drone or whatever? The, I think it was a Parrot AR drone. One of those drones that kind of, before we even knew, most of us knew what drones were, that was the Parrot that was flying around. So, yeah, Parrot, uh, again, it's just going to be a matter of how it performs. Is it a high-quality product? That's one thing with DJI, the build quality is top-notch. The, uh, the software experience is top-notch. Firmware updates, top-notch. And it's only gotten better. I mean, sure, in the early days of Phantom 1, it was kind of on the, it was kind of like a proof of concept at that point in time. But it was, it was still a refined experience. But throughout the years, it's become more and more refined. So that's, you know, they, uh, both Altel and Parrot have, uh, have some stiff competition. But again, I think it's really going to shake things up from a pricing perspective. Not just pricing, but also rapid innovation. You know, you got competition, you've got to rush, and you've got to push something else out before your competitors do to, uh, you know, to, to captivate, to take, you know, to become the main, uh, the main uh, company within that space. So, you know, if you're, if you're a rapid innovator, if you've got competitive prices, you know, that's how, that's, that's what separates a mediocre company from a really successful company. So I think now this is the, the wake-up call that DJI has needed for a long time. And I love DJI, but I'm not a DJI fanboy. You know, I love competition and, and uh, business a lot more than I love uh, drones. So. But it's, it's just interesting to see, It'll be, it will be interesting to see rather how this shakes things, shakes things up. And I think, we're, uh, I think we're in for a real treat and I hope that these assumptions are not inaccurate because, I mean, the other, the other thing is Parrot and Offie could come out. It could be poorly perceived. You know, within a few weeks, it's, nobody even cares about hearing it. Same with the Alltel Evo. You know, it could be a complete flop. In a few weeks, people don't care about it. And then we're back on the same thing. It's like, well, will there be another company like GoPro step up to bat and try to compete with DJI? I don't want us to ever get back into that spot because that's, you know, if, if you look back, what was it, 2017, such a slow year. I mean, we waited and waited and waited. There was radio silence from DJI and, all, and, and the drone industry as a whole. But hopefully now, you know, even if Parrot and Afi, even if Altel Evo, if they both fail, at least it at least temporarily excited the drone space. So, you know, what more can we hope for? Uh, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash irixguy and check out epicdroneshow.com got a lot of live shows you can find drones drone accessories tutorials and a whole lot more there uh, actually i've got a lot of uh, epic drone show lives in the works so stay tuned subscribe to my channel youtube.com forward slash irixguy and you can uh you know if you're if you're lucky and you're around and you catch a live show you can uh, comment live and it's, it's just always a fun experience. And, and if you can't, you can go to EpicDroneShow.com and watch all of the uh, previously recorded live shows. So appreciate your viewership, and thanks again. Be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash iRixGuy. Y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all. iRixGuy here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.